You know what I'm saying? At least Puff, Puff is the same motherfucker. Same is the same motherfucker. He ain't making no more music like that, but he's into the, you know, he getting money through you know, the rock and all that extra shit, uh, the, the shadows he getting. But Puff, what's up, Puff? What's he gonna tell you to? Puffy, Puffy, Puffy. Motherfucker, Puffy. They not right, Senorito, too. Then we have fun there. He come out, give me a love, man. Give me, we have a good relationship. He used to invite you to me. He used to invite me to the party. I used to go to the white party. Even after I broke up with Joe, I used to go to his white party. He used to invite me. You know what I'm saying? I got a story that me and him, you know, we went to the bathroom one time. Not in a bad way. Bathroom right after, you know what I'm saying? First time he saw me, and I went to his party. Me and him and Wolf in the bathroom. What's up, Puff? Remember you asked me? And after that, we never spoke again. And next thing you know, it's helping out pit bull. Instead of me. Fucking with, you know, that's before. That's late back. He's fucking my enemy. He's trying to crush me. What's up, man? Hello? I know he's not doing a delivery. I guess not, but yes, he is. Because he's, he's backing up. People I have a problem with, right? So what? You can't show me no love, Puff. Show you love, brother. Show you respect. Wait, 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 wait. So what you guys talk about? I'm talking to Puffy right now. Mind your business. So, and Jennifer was looking at me with the piano and the mansion. Florida. I said, nope. It's Puffy's girl. Stuck it. Stuck it. We stuck it, but she's looking at me. Looking like Angie, the Cuban sandwich Angie. I said, no. Because of respect. Not that I was probably going this because I don't know. Maybe the relationship was crazy. or whatever, But just the respect. That's who I am. I remember. Respect. Always, always appreciate it. But God damn, enough is enough. I'm every time I'm looking up, yo, executive producer, love you. So they even putting money into fucking niggas. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That, what's up with you? You can't. Not even. Don't tell me nothing. Just we can partner up and do something, an idea separate from the fucking industry. No coming back for a nigga like me that, that had love. That wrote shit for free. That, that helped you perform with Jennifer. That you asked for anything, he was there. That, that, that did his old, you know, 24K album, and Streetlight, right next to you. your daddy house. They used to come pick a visit, visit to you. He used to chop it up. Anyway, don't make it a pity story, right? But just remember these things. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and that's the game of hip hop. So it's like, it's not personal for hip hop. But you see how it goes. Bust is another one. Show me love, always. It's like somebody told them not to show me love. And once I see that weakness, I just feel sorry for them. It might be the other way around for them, that they feel sorry for me, right? But I feel sorry for them as, as people. Because besides me slapping the fucking fire out of anybody, that I fucking see that, and, and that's against me in front of me, because it was going to happen. It's going to happen anyway. But I'm just trying to tell you, besides that, just the fact that somebody, like, you roll together in that way, you don't see what you're doing to your fellow, uh, you know, uh, group of rappers, you know, the upcoming rappers, not even me. This is how you're doing it. So if you're doing this, this is your, you know, the way you, you're handling the the structure of how a nigga get deal over. That's why niggas is getting raped before they even come out with it. They're getting fucked because you got these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I heard stories like that where, you know what I'm saying, niggas, uh, they want to get you on camera and so they can blackmail you later so you don't disobey, disobey them. Because the real niggas, Supposed to be real niggas. Supposed to, you know, pass those traditional uh, morals down the road in, in hip hop. But for the artists, are actually deliberately picking the weak ones, the ones that control you. They ask me, the ones that can puppet. They're the masters. And what do you think that does? Who the fuck is gonna have a favorite MC that? I mean, it's always gonna be a hip hop, and that's why you got so many, you know, motherfuckers with different hit every every other week. But you don't got no legendary time timeless music no more like they used to. Because we had that at least. You know, we had a, a fucking like different textures of hip hop and masters of their own craft with different shit in hip hop. And we loved uh, you know, different people for different reasons and they had different categories. But uh, that's what I'm saying. If I'm making sense. Cuban, let me stop you there though. What what did you and Puff talk about in the bathroom? There you go. I said mad shit that was more important than the bathroom talk. Went straight to the toilet. He disgusted. 
We just talked. Just talked. Just said, um, walked into a party. Um, was kind of scared, let me in. Got his body going. Not Gene. He let me in, and the brat was there. Everybody was there. I was there. That went to, uh, no, he told me to come in the bathroom. Him and Wolf. Remember Wolf? Wolf was the man. That's my dude, too. I had a tight relationship with Wolf. Um, nothing. I went to the bathroom, man. What happened? He said, what happened, kid? Set me out. Same thing I told him. Punched me. Got up. Rocked me. Then after that, he was home. Cut me. So I told him. He said, all right. Give me a hug and he broke out. Wolf told me, I'll talk to you later. Then he died. Me, so that was serious shit that Cuban went with. But uh, those stories are still linked to certain things. And I could tell you, you could tell you, you know, beautiful parties and puffed out that, you know what I'm saying? But once again, that was like, it's linked because, you know, the first time I went to one of those parties, we jumped, was we jumped. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, can't take credit for it. Really fuck, for life, you're going to be doing that? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's what I get. I mean, I guess he uses the, 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 the seniority or board of it. You know what I'm saying? The you know nigga already done, um, showed uh, his talent and, 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 you know what I'm saying, his values. So, um, it's not even, it's not even, uh, you know what I'm saying, a regular fight. So it's just like, um, it's, this is the game. It's not even, it's not even just, uh, the beluga. It's got other fishes that are contaminated. They're all fucking atomic now. It spilled, a, uh, spilled some oil in that. My niggas is just grease balls. So you gotta wait 10 years for that shit to, to dry up. <laughs>